It's the AFC Championship game, and the road to a Super Bowl goes through New England. It's the Ravens and the Patriots under the lights on Sunday night. It's a site that has seen more than its fair share of great playoff memories the last few decades, and more could be in store as we've got playoff football again at sold-out Gillette Stadium in Foxborough. Straight ahead, a class to decide the AFC's representative in the Super Bowl, and it should be a great one, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on the New England Patriots. Hello, everyone. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The postseason continuing here on EA Sports. And, man, it is electric in here, and it should be conference championship time. I don't know about you, but my butterflies in my stomach, they have iron wings in this one. <laughs> and every guy I've ever talked to has all said the same thing. This game, the conference championship game, may have more intensity than even the Super Bowl because you know what the stakes are. You're trying so hard to get to the big game that this is the this is the one that's the real challenge. And the opening kickoff will not be returned as that will be a touchback. Here comes the Ravens on offense and the man in charge from Louisville, the former MVP, Lamar Jackson. And we can talk all we want about football being a team game and leaning on different parts and aspects in order to get it done. And that's entirely true during the regular season. Some weeks it's the defense, the special teams running the football. But in the playoffs, all the pressure reverts to the quarterback and he has to play well and play at a really high level in order for his team to win. And he's going to get a good gain of nine here up to the 34. Maybe a good spot to take a shot. Here's second and a yard from the 34. On the run, this is J.K. Dobbins. And Dobbins is going to pick up a Ravens first down as he'll get this up past the 35-yard line. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Jackson. That ball caught, it's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And he'll be tackled on the other side of midfield at the 46-yard line. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10, as they've got things rolling on this drive. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And it's out, he put it on the carpet. Wow, that ball gets knocked free, but a teammate comes along and scoops it up. Almost like it's almost like baseball. Guys at bat, people are on base in scoring position. One guy doesn't get them home. The next guy comes through and picks him up and avoids the turnover. Tally that is catch number one for him in this AFC Championship. It's a first down. Here's Jackson to throw, and this is going to be pulled in by the tight end Andrews. And they move this all the way down to the nine. It's first and goal. A chance for the first points of this AFC title bout. Jackson from the shotgun. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Flowers. That was play number seven on this drive, and it got him seven yards. Good yardage on first down. Now can they punch it in on second and goal? Dobbins. He is not going anywhere. He'll be hit and dropped for no gain at the two-yard line. He got maybe a half-yard at most, but eventually they'll be left with a third and two. They'll send the big tight end in motion right. One of the tight ends comes in motion. And he'll get in. Touchdown, Baltimore. J.K. Dobbins taking it in from two yards out. And the Ravens are on the board first here in this AFC Championship game. Extra point through the snowflakes, up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. On the return, Marcus Jones from the end zone. Now they can't bring him down. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line, so the same result had he opted for the touchback. So out comes the Patriots' offense as they'll get their first shot at things here. 
They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. And we talked about it last week, the pressure of not just playing in the playoffs and now in the championship game as they try to close out a perfect 19-0 season. Of all the games they've played, though, this year, this is far and away the toughest one. If they find a way to win it, guess what the next one will be? The toughest one they play. That's what happens when you have a perfect record on the line. So the incompletion, and now it's second and 10, again from the 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And this will be a gain of five as he gets it to the 30. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. On the move to his left. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. They chopped that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. They'll run it. This is Ramondre Stevenson. He's still barreling through. And they're able to get this one past the 30 down to the 25. Now a play fake here on first down. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Stevenson. Oh, he's going absolutely nowhere as he is hit behind the line. A loss of a full three yards, and now it's second down. Brings up second and goal at the Ravens' seven-yard line. They stay on the ground, but this time it's Elliott. And he'll be taken down here as it will take us to the end of the first quarter. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter from Foxborough. It's the homestanding Patriots with the football. A pretty big play now in this AFC Championship. Third and goal. Now this going to be a quarterback draw. And Jones is not going to have the first down as they stop him short. Tough sledding. They lose a yard there on third. Just a simple run play there on third and one, but this D was up to the challenge and stopped them, bringing up fourth down. Now Jones throwing on fourth down. And this is good. Touchdown, Patriots. Juju Smith-Schuster from three yards out. And the Pats' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And we are tied at seven. Each team's had it. Each team has scored 7-7 seven, seven here as the kick's away. The return man down to a knee, and this will come out to the 25-yard line. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. A lot of time for this unit to game plan on the sideline after that drive. They watched the other side just score, but remember, last time they were out, they scored as well. We'll see if they can seize that momentum right back. And they have had a lot of time to pull off from reaching the end zone the last time. So have they been able to keep themselves mentally sharp and into this game, even though they haven't been on the field? And you and I both know, one big play, though, gets them right back up to that level. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. A gain of eight on the keeper and a first down. And this is one of those plays that if you can use it to keep the chains moving, it's a good play. And not only that, it tends to tamp down the pass rushers because they have to recognize this play and stay at home. The quarterback uses it well. Read option, keeps it, and picks up a first down with some nice running. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Here's a give to Dobbins running right. And only a couple for him there as the tackle is made at the 42. Watching that play on field, watching them complete it. Brought back memories of doing all those pursuit drills to make sure you don't over pursue and let a guy get a cutback laying on you. He did that very well. You praised him on tape yesterday for the angles that he takes to the ball. Took a great angle right there. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Throwing is Jackson. He'll check this down to Dobbins out of the backfield. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. He was unable to shake free there, and they'll cover him for a loss of a yard. Yeah. 
They go back to the ground with Dobbins. And he gets them a little over half of what they needed. Now they're looking at a third and five. I think we all suspected that they were going back to him after he found the end zone on his last carry. And they kept the positive momentum going there. Another nice run by him. AFC title game, second quarter action. Two minutes to play. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. On third down, here's Dobbins. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. They'll throw on first down with Jackson. This throw taken in by Isaiah Likely. They'll wind up getting seven on the play, and that's going to bring up second down. Now it's Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And outbounds right around the 20. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Here's Jackson. Targeting Dobbins again, and he's got it again. And able to get this down inside the 15, even the 13 or 14 before he's out of bounds. Second down and four. From the gun, it's Jackson. A quick throw there he is incomplete. I really like what I'm seeing from this defense because their coverage has been planning to shut down Rebel so far. Even backed up late. Forcing incompletions and fighting to keep him out of the end zone as the first half winds down. A shotgun snap and a give to Dobbins. And he picks up the first as he's able to take it down to the seven yard line. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Jackson. And in for the Ravens touchdown. seven-yard touchdown grab. And the Ravens will take the lead here in the final minute of the first half. Tucker able to connect on the extra point, and that makes the score 14-7. to Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Oh, the return is Jones from the end zone. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20. The Patriots with the football here late in this first half. And with just under a minute to go, they might try to think about mounting a drive here if they can and get in the end zone to potentially tie this game up. And it's a run to work. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Marking down at the 49. Patriots going to use one of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds to go in the first half. Setting up a screen for Stevenson. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. First down now, but that clock rolling. Throwing Jones. He'll let this go deep for Bourne. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the round, and that one winds up incomplete. Now Jones. And he is caught by Smith-Schuster. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half number one. They go play action here on first down. Now he's got it. Now a timeout. Seven seconds left in the first half. A chance now to get even before the break as they come up first and goal. Jones keeping it on the sneak. And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Mac Jones 
in the final seconds of the first half. And the Patriots have a chance to tie the game here in the final seconds of the half. I don't think it's any state secret to know what they were saying before the start of this drive. Let's go and punch one in the end zone and go into the halftime feeling a heck of a lot better about ourselves. Let's go get this done. Yeah, tie things up, and then you get a brand new ball game. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And that is going to tie our game as we approach halftime. Maybe time for one play on offense. Seven seconds to go in the half as the kick is away. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. The Baltimore offense at the line set to get going. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Now whistles and a timeout with three seconds left in the first half. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. Well, throw on the run, but that's going to be incomplete. So we are halfway home. To yeah, who has time for a halftime show with a trip to the Super Bowl on the line? Let's get back to it. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. One more half to decide who takes home the Lamar Hunt Trophy as we're back underway in this AFC Championship. And a good return as he'll be stopped just shy of the 30-yard line. Here comes the Patriots offensive unit. They'll have it first here to begin the third quarter. And CD, we are in for a very intriguing second half. This is what we wanted all tied. This is what postseason football is all about. It certainly is. It doesn't it speak to the parody in the NFL. Roughly half the team. The guy's man complete. And he's going to get this down to the 35 yard line. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. He'll find Smith Schuster again. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. Now Elliott. And he'll be stopped just outside the 5 at the 6. The 6-yard six line, the line of scrimmage on 2nd and goal. They get this out left. Touchdown, Patriots! Juju Smith-Schuster. His second touchdown of the night. And the Patriots have taken the lead as they go right down the field and score on the opening drive of the second half. Extra point by Ryland, up and good. And the lead is now 21-14. Back out is the kicker, Ryland, and he'll send this one away. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. But Charles, you and I said in intermission, feels like we're set up for a good second half. Well, the other side scored. Now it's up to them to answer. How do they respond here with their first drive of the second half? Well, bottom line is they just saw the ball go in the end zone against their defense, and they saw the good offense looks like. They believe they've got a good offense as well. Run the best plays you've got to the top performers you have and try to move that ball down the field for an answering score. Jackson now. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Marcus Jones picks it, and they will take over at the 29-yard line. First down carry by Elliott. Down to about the 22 here. And quickly they get to the line. Elliott going to get it again on second down. And he's taken down after a gain of three as they move it from the 22 to the 19. They'll try and run for it with Elliott. And Elliott trying to work his way forward, but it looks like he did not make it. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. I'll tell you what, this defense hasn't played its best, but they're still right in this football game. And if they keep making plays just like that, they're going to give their offense a chance. 
On fourth down, Jones flush to his right. And he'll be out of bounds, taking it just shy of the 10 at the 11 of the 12. A good decision in the end to pull it and run, get some nine yards at a first. Up the middle, here's Elliott. And he'll be brought down this time at the five-yard line. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On second down, Elliott once more. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Here's the seventh play of this drive. This is third and four. They'll roll him out right. Out right to board. No gain on the play. And it'll be fourth down. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. Jones throwing on fourth down. Forced out to his... And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Matt Jones, a six-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots have taken a two-touchdown lead now. Nothing like understanding where your escape patches are as a quarterback. Here he's looking, but he knows he doesn't want to force anything. So when nothing avails itself, he slips past the rushers, takes it right up the middle, and takes it into the end zone. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. And we'll see if they can bounce back from that last drive in particular, if they can bounce back at the quarterback position, Charles, after throwing their first interception of the ball game. Yeah, and some guys, you know they're going to want to try and get a big play right away and take control back. Others, they're going to look to hit a couple shorter passes, get a little momentum back that way. But for the defense, that goal's not changing a bit. They want another pick. You're exactly right about that. In fact, you've got to watch them a little bit because in coverage, they may cut down their gaps a little bit, maybe their splits a little bit in order to try and get to the ball even faster. 46 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. Under a minute to go in this third quarter as they come up first and 10. From the gun, Jackson. And it's incomplete. Boy, he doesn't drop many like that one. Second down. Well, he'll definitely say that that's one he should have held on to. But when you're playing in elements like this, sometimes those bullet passes, those ones with a little bit of pace on them, they can be difficult to hold on to. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And not much there at all. Maybe a yard up to the 43. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Now it's Jackson. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Lawrence got it with a big time sack on third down. It's a loss of seven. One quarter remains until we crown the AFC champion. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. And that's caught inside the 35. And he is going to have a Ravens first down, and he'll have it by plenty as it turns out to be a big gainer there on fourth down. To throw is Jackson. Going right back to Beckham here, complete. They'll give him four yards there, and it's second down. It's now second and six. The Patriots, 29-year Jackson. That'll be caught by the big tight end, Andrews. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots, 19. Oh. 
on first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. There to stop him, Jawan Bentley. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Here's Jackson to throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. Give it big credit for his coverage right there because he's so about the deep. He stayed in position to prevent a completion while avoiding any risk of a flag. Now Jackson. This one caught by his tight end, Andrews. And the Ravens are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. Second and goal from inside the five. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. Tell you what, if I see a dive block, if I see six defensive backs near the goal line, I'm checking to a running play every time. And they had six there. Surprised he didn't audible at the line? Very much so. I'm going to count on my offensive line in this situation against the lighter defensive backs and try and push it across the end zone that way. Eluding the pressure right. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. They'll try and throw for it to Jackson. Touchdown! With shot Bateman. A one-yard touchdown reception. And the Ravens have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Tucker with the extra point. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Ravens 21. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. Oh, a good looking return set up here. And all in all, a pretty solid return. Nearly got it to the 35. They'll mark him down officially at the 34. The Juju Smith, Schuster, and the rest of the Patriots offense ready to go to work once more. And I know that they've double teamed him a couple times, but not a ton. Whatever they're doing isn't working. He's up over 100 yards. We'll see how they adjust. And when they do that, they weaken their defense in other places as well. How many times have we done games where we've seen a guy have a big game like this? It's usually not by himself. It's usually it opens it up for other people that have big games as well. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. This defense starting to buckle down when they need to. And right now, they're winning this fourth quarter, losing the game, but they're winning in the fourth quarter. And what a fine line it is about what they're trying to get done because they're down, so they obviously need the football, need a score. But they can't be so aggressive as to give up their edge, their gaps, and have the offense hit them with a big play. And some good tackling there as he stopped up at about the 41. And now we'll see a timeout used on defense as they stop it right out of the break with 1.57 to go in the ballgame. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. He was trying to get that one out to his running back out of the backfield, but that one was red and timed perfectly, and they were able to break it up. And I tell you what, he got it from 58. That had lots of laying behind it, and that will make this a nine-point lead. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by nine, a minute 50 to play. Their Super Bowl hopes hanging by a thread as they come up on first down. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. His back has been a dependable safety valve all game, so he went back to him when his first read was covered. Just unable to connect, so the play results in no gain. They'll run up the gap with Dobbins. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before it'll be an important third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes. Is that to a ride? Tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand. And that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. 
That is caught, Bateman. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. One timeout at their disposal, but more pressing is the need for two scores, obviously. Here's first and 10. And he goes out of bounds. It looks like right at the 50. I think the best offenses love to give the ball to their running backs in open space because they have the ability to make people miss, and they also have the ability to run over people. And if you do that throughout the game, after a while, they might just run through some of those tackles and go a long way. We saw him shed a nice tackle on that one. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Here's Jackson looking deep downfield. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. Ooh, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and lets your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And this is dropped. Oh, it's incomplete. He had a big gainer in his sights, but he could not win it in. Super Bowl aspirations are on the line. A critical one here. It's third down. Jackson. And the throw there going to be incomplete. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown. But this game's over. And that will wind up just short. He had it on line. It ran out of gas at the end, and they'll remain two scores back as this holds at a nine-point advantage. Well, he might be the best kicker the game's ever seen. And we've seen him hit from 66, which is the all-time record. But anything 60-plus, that's a very low percentage kick. Don't tell him. He doesn't believe it. But this one winds up no good. Oh, what a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go in the game. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Another run on second down, trying to cover up. And he'll get this down only to the 18. On third down, Elliott. And that should do it. He's got a first down. And the Patriots can run it out from here. champions and on to the Super Bowl they go. It's got to be an amazing feeling for them, doesn't it, Brandon? The idea that you've done it all, all that hard work, all that sweating, all that effort, all those times you're getting yelled at by your coach, and now you get to go to the Super Bowl. Put your hats on, guys, and say AFC champs. And that will do it for this one. For Charles Davis, myself, and the entire crew, we'll see you.